Hi guys, so I'm here with the $10 subscription boxes. I have the Sephora Play and the Ipsy bag. I did hear that Ipsy's going to be coming out with like a deluxe bag, um, like BoxyCharm has one now. Um, the BoxyCharm Deluxe is $50, I wanna say, and this one's gonna be 25 if I'm not mistaken. So I happened to see it on accident and they're supposedly all full-size items that are inside of it. Um, <coughs> I'm super curious to know like exactly what's going to be in there. Supposedly they're like really good stuff. I don't know. I, I, I saw it briefly and I was really surprised, but I was like 25. I mean, BoxyCharm is 21 and they're all full-size items in there. So 21, 25. Um, I'll just have to see, you know, like what's going on and what's going to be inside the deluxe ipsy one but for now let's look at the regular ipsy all right so let me see here so it's a red little bag here i'm pretty sure this is is this this month's bag i think it is i keep them like all around and and i still haven't emptied out the previous month so i think this is the right bag uh yes it is <laughs> okay so the first thing in here is from derma e this is the advanced peptides and collagen serum sounds good i'm all about all the skincare so this is really important i like it i like getting skincare i know when i was a little bit younger like in birch box and stuff like that um when i was getting all the skincare all the time i was annoyed but i mean it was good because i was using it and everything so and you really need to take care of your skin so there you go i'm not going to get into that right now let me see the card it says who said nights were for sleep that's so weird because the card looks totally different in the viewfinder like the color is like a almost light blue like but when i look at the card it's like a dark blue that's so weird anyway okay we have some eye patches here okay these are black eye masks and it says it's got with um, hyaluronic acid that's what it says up there in the corner it says late nights too many cheeky wines and let's not forget those carb on carb delights we have our peepers looking well not so fresh leave the evidence of late night behind and pop on our art our, our, one, one more time in it and pop on our activated charcoal eye mask to depuff, detox and get back to your shiny gorgeous self so there's a lot of fluid inside these things hopefully these patches will like stay on and not slide off if you're standing up or whatever um, next thing in here is from Morphe it's a blush let's see it's called blend the rules I think or spirit I'm not sure okay so the packaging is really really heavy it's actually named spirit because i see it on the back of the container here and this is like a really nice pretty it's a little tad bit of a shimmer but it's like a i don't know what you want to call this like a a rosy a deep rosy pink color so it's a nice heavy duty packaging all right next in here we have intensively precise eyeliner and espresso water-based alcohol free paraben free perfume free okay it doesn't say that it's waterproof so this is a nice um it's not black it's a, it's like a dark chocolatey color but it looks really nice it's from aurora and i think i've used other liners but not liquid liners from them like pencil liners um so it has a nice long tip on there it's not the super fine tip however i i think i'm gonna like this so I'm excited to try this one out. And then lastly in here is Take Home the Bronze. This is a bronzer from The Balm Cosmetics. Um, and it's a nice, I don't know, it's kind of orangey now that I'm looking at it. It's in the shade Thomas. And this is like, I think it's kind of good that it has like this little picture on the front where it's like a bronze and you know, like people go and do those weight what is that those muscle shows or whatever and they're super orangey bronze that's kind of like the color that's here so i think it's a little too orangey but you know it might look really good on the eyes so i'll probably try this out on the eyes instead but um yeah that's everything that's in the bag so we have these five items in here we have the eye patches two sets the bronzer the blush the liner 
and these serum. So it's a very nice little bag this month. I really like this one. All right, moving on. Let me see if I can wipe a little bit of the powdery stuff on here. Um, the liner is really nice. It, it's like set in place. It's not smudging off or anything. So I'm really gonna like that. However, it's not waterproof. So just spritz a little face mist on and it comes right off. So, uh, I mean, it stays put, but if you're gonna cry or if it rains, it's not gonna stay. But if you're not and you're in, indoors, if you're good, I think you'll be fine. All right, next for Sephora Play, it says Scary Good Beauty right there. It has the same bag as last month's, this plasticky kind of bag, which I didn't really care for, but. All right, so let's pull everything out. We have, what is this, from Anastasia. This is Banana Stick Contour. Holy moly, that is like, I'm not gonna be able to use that, I can tell already. It's too banana-y and too clear, not too clear, clear, no, light. So I probably won't be able to use this one. Let's see, it says, highlight the night. Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Banana. A pale yellow, light to full coverage foundation stick with a demi matte finish. Buildable, high pigment coverage for flawless, natural looking look. The application stick is ideal for highlighting, contouring, and touching up. Too bad it's a shade that I can't use because that would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's too yellowy and too light. All right, next in here is from Caudalie. This is a Radiance Serum. And it says, let there be bright, oil-free radiance boosting serum that visibly evens skin tone. Uh, is a lightweight brightening formula combats the appearance of dark spots with natural ingredients. Plus it absorbs quickly into the skin for ultimate hydration. So that sounds good. I like Caudalie products. Their products are really good, really, really good. Um, next is a sample of the Kat Von D um, perfumes. Oh, it's both of them. It's the Saint and the Sinner. I have um, like the little mini bottles that look like this. And I think I have some little minis like this too. I actually like the Saint better than the Sinner. So nice. I always like to have like these little tiny samples in my purse, so that's not bad. And this is the bonus this month. Then we have from Hello Fab. This is a coconut water cream. It says it helps hydrate, smooth, and recharge. Uh, let's see, it says Fresh Face Oasis. First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Cream wa or Water Cream. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Hydrating water cream softens, smooths, and visibly plumps skin with ingredients rich in electrolytes, amino acids, enzymes, antioxidants, and phytonutrients. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. I ran out of my all nighter spray. So, this is the all nighter long lasting makeup spray from Urban Decay. So, it's just a little mini like this. So, I'm happy to have that. I always repurchase it, so really happy to have that. Okay, one more thing in here is the Gimme Brow Brow Volumizing uh, Fiber Gel. This is really good. I really like these a lot. It's just that you get such a little tiny bit in the container, so that's the sucky part. But in one gel swoop, a tinted brow gel that creates natural looking fullness and definition, and that's so true, at least for me. Um, this volumizing gel uses a small tapered brush to apply tiny microfibers that adhere to the skin and hair for bold brows. The No Fuss applicator tames brows and keeps them in place from moonrise to moonset. So we've got seven items in the Sephora Play Box. We have the foundation stick, the Caudalie um, serum, radiant serum, a moisturizer here from Hello Fab the brow gel from Benefit, the sample perfumes, and the Urban All Nighter, Urban Decay All Nighter. So this is a really nice bag as well. I like them both. I like them both. They're both very, very nice. So um, anyway, so that's it for this month's October bags for Ipsy and Sephora. And let me know what you got in your bag. And thank you so much for coming by and checking out my videos. I know I haven't put, been putting up very many lately, um, but you know, I still do like to share what I got and I still watch, you know, different unboxings and and how they use the stuff in different videos. So 
Anyway, all right, you guys, have a great Halloween, and I will see you in another video.